week's craft on CLT Royals. We hope you're having an amazing week stuck at home. Today we are going to be making chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. All the time. Am I right, Ender? All the, the time. time. We ABC. make dough. We make this dough like once a week, and then we cook like six and six a night for a whole family, and then we watch a movie. So we're gonna be showing you how to make these chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, and I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna be needing. Butter, oatmeal, blended oatmeal, vanilla, chocolate chips, eggs, chopped up chocolate, brown sugar, and normal sugar, pecans, those are walnuts, and walnuts, and then this is a mixture of salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And that's it. Now let's get right into this week's craft. So the first thing we're going to do is go blend the oatmeal up. So now let's go over and blend the oatmeal. The next thing you're going to do is go over to our electric mixer and mix together the butter and the sugars. So let's go! So the next thing you're gonna do is put one cup of butter and one cup of both brown sugar and regular sugar and blend them in the mixer. to do is add two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. So let's go ahead and do that. to do is take your two and a half cups of blended oatmeal and your two cups of flour and put them in a bowl like this and you are also going to take your one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt and just pour them into each other like that and now you're going to pour it into the mixer and then mix it really good. One of the last things you're going to do is add one and a half cups of chocolate chips, one and a half cups of nuts, and four ounces of Hershey's chocolate bar into here. And then I'm going to pour this mixture into the bowl and stir it really good. Now that you finish all those steps, you have a really good mixture. 
and a blender for a little person to eat. <laughs> He's really enjoying it. The dough is really good. Roll it into balls and place them each two inches apart on a cookie sheet, which we have right here. But while you're doing this, you want to preheat the oven to 375. So let's get started scooping them out. out but I have a lot of extra dough which we save for the rest of the week to make them over and over again each night. So now let's go over to the oven. Okay so we put the rest of the, do of the dough in here so we can put it right in the fridge and now when the oven is preheating to 375 I'm going to tell you how long to put it in. So you're going to put the cookies in for 10 minutes and they should look about like this. There's the oven. Let's put them in. Make sure you try it out. Bye! Bye.